Okay, hello guys. I think I need to get pumped up a little bit. Whoa! Hello guys. Today I'm gonna show you how to make a bulletproof Kevlar skateboard using resin infusion. Yeah! For this you need, most importantly, a negative mold. That's actually an uncut skateboard, but I will use it like a mold. Then some mold epoxy to impregnate the mold. That's the hardener. And that's the epoxy. Some release agent, you will see why. Some infusion epoxy resin, of course. Some infusion clamps and infusion valves. A catch pot. Dives and he makes the catch. Some infusion mesh. A bunch of tubes. A mixed resin container. A vacuum bag, of course. Some peel ply. The vacuum pump. Some infusion tape. And last but not least, bidirectional aramid fiber. Don't worry, be happy. Don't worry, be happy. I will put everything into the description below. Okay, before we start, quick explanation. Okay, first of all, we need to put a layer of mold epoxy onto my uncut skateboard. Let's do that right away. That's the hardener. Holy cow! You can die three times if you don't handle this correctly. Epoxy, spoon, pipet, paintbrush. Another one. Another one. Don't forget your gloves unless you want to die, man. This enables me to have a smooth mold and to get rid of the porosity of the wood. Okay, once this is done, we need to apply some release agent, about eight layers. Then we need to put the infusion tape all around the mold. Then we can put the layers of our meat fibers into it, the peel ply over it, the infusion mesh, which enables the resin to flow. Yeah, a bit like that. Put the infusion spiral across the mold on both sides, connect the tube to it, and on the other end, connect the tube to the catch pot, and connect the catch pot to the pump that will suck... Uh, yeah, no, that's your mother. John C that will apply the vacuum. At the other end of the mold, connect the resin pot. Now close this mess with the vacuum bag. Enough talking, let's send it in real life. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Eight layers of release agent. I'm getting fucking crazy. Okay, quick sanity test. If the pressure doesn't decrease after 15 minutes, I'm gonna suck the resin in. Otherwise, I'm fucked. <laughs> Works. This somehow reminds me of something. Worked. Okay, now we need to take off the peel ply. Wow. A bit flex, but it makes the job. Okay, quick update, guys. So as you know, uh, as you don't know, actually, Kevlar fibers are quite strong, so I didn't get the clear cut with the jigsaw. So I wanted to cut it with a water jet, but it came out much too expensive. So at least um, I shot my board with a gun. <laughs> okay, that's the beast. It's an SIG gun, the official Swiss Army pistol. If you want to know the exact type, just Google uh, Swiss Army pistol. I personally don't care about the names of all these rifles. That's the impact of my father. He actually missed the first shot, but he doesn't believe it. And that's my impact. So, did it hold? No, it fucking destroyed it, man. <laughs> The thickness of the board is too thin to actually uh, withstand uh, the power of a Swiss Army uh, shotgun. So, um, Donald, if you mess with North Korea, we don't care, but if you want beef with Switzerland, we are gonna kick your ass so hard, even your mouth is gonna taste like shit. I'm joking, guys. <laughs> so yeah, this board is definitely not bulletproof. Thanks for watching, like this video if you enjoyed, um, and send me some nudes. <laughs> Peace, and see you soon.
Thank <laughs> you.